Yo, what's up everybody? Cardboard Moses, would you welcome? Here on this glorious Monday, happy Bobby Bonilla Day. If you don't know who Bobby Bonilla is, I suggest you Google it. Probably uh, one of the smartest humans ever. Uh, either that or the Mets or some of the stupidest people ever. Or maybe a combination of the two. Anyways, that aside, it's time to go ahead and start our break here. Uh, it is the first of the month, so catch your checks and come up. If you catch that reference... Thumbs up for you. Uh, anyways, what up? Uh, take a leap. That is not me. Try again. Uh, let's see. What do we have today? We have 2019 Donner's Elite Football 4 box break number 2 for eBay. Come on. All right. Let's uh, do this. <clears throat> Take a leap. You don't know who I am by now? That is pretty uh, disheartening for me. Dude, how the heck did that guy manage that contract, bro? He's getting, he's getting roughly over a million dollars every year on July 1st. Until twenty until July first, twenty thirty five. That is one of the most ridiculous contracts I've ever heard of. Dude, take a leap. That is not me. That is not me. Then again, if it makes you feel any better, take a leap. I don't know your name either, so it kind of works out. You know, I won't take it personally if you don't take it personally. Football is like two months away. There you go. Take a leap. I mean, you, you only had two choices, either Jason or Jesse. So there you go. Unfortunately, take a leap. I still don't know your name, so. You win this round. Yeah, Billy, I wish I knew the details on that contract. So that I could try to emulate it. <laughs> Scott. What's up, take a leap. Scott. Yeah, no, I mean, no disrespect, but you said it yourself. It's been a while. It has been a while. Angels pitcher Tyler Skaggs died in Texas. What? Just got that news on my phone via the ESPN app. All right, let's see what we have here in this Donner Salute. Good luck, y'all. Matt Stafford to 91 Lions. How you been, Scott? Hope all is well, brother. We have Johan Williams, 699 Patriots. Devontae Adams to 49, Relic for the Packers. To 299, Michael Thomas, Saints. Nick Bosa. Really, Billy? That man, that's tragic, man. Drew Brees to ninety nine Saints. You got bad weather? Hot and humid. That sounds like uh that sounds a lot like Florida. It is ridiculously hot out there, man. We got Ed Oliver to 90 for the Bills.
We have Mike Weber, 699 Cowboys. Carry on Johnson, dual relic to 49 for the Lions. Oh, wow, really? They they canceled the game? All the way up in Vermont? Well, what's what's the uh, temperature like up there? Miles Sanders to 75 Eagles. I like Elite, man. Doesn't hurt that it's the first product with the rookies in their uh, NFL uniform. Nice, Miles Garrett, one of ten for the Browns. What's going on, Fitz? I, you know, I, 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 like, okay, all right, Fitz, I, I know where you're coming from, but I, I feel like people need to really relax. First of all, what have the Knicks done since the seventies? Nothing. So I don't understand where, where, where Knicks fans get this entitlement that they're the Mecca of basketball. They haven't been the Mecca of basketball since Willis Reed and them boys. You know what I mean? So I, I, I really don't get where New York fans get this sense of entitlement. Like they belong in, in, in the conversation with the Lakers and the Celtics and the Spurs and the Bulls. and Like they haven't won anything. Like... When's the last time they even made it to the NBA Finals? Like, back in 99, I think it was. So they haven't done anything in the last 20-something years. Really, since the 70s. So, that that's number one, as far as the Knicks are concerned. Number two, they got a really good young team, man. You know, I know the record doesn't reflect it. But they got, you know, they just got R.J. Barrett. They just signed Julius Randle, who's a 20-10 and 10 guy every night. They got Kevin Knox, who was a rookie last year. He showed flashes of, of, of being a really good player in this league. They still got Alonzo Trier, who I think is a great point guard. Uh, Nilakina showed a lot of progress last year. Like, they have nice young talent. They just got to build on it. You know, it sucks that they couldn't sign KD and they couldn't sign Kyrie. But, uh, but I mean, they, they, they should work with what they have now. Build that up. So I, I just I, I just really don't understand where Knicks and yeah that exactly they got Dennis Smith Jr. too like I don't know man Mike Evans to forty nine bucks I just really don't get where this sense of entitlement comes from as far as Knicks fans like their team they have not been a good team in a long long time like even in the nineties you know how many championships did Patrick Ewing get none Allen Houston zero. Latrose Prero, zero. Mark Jackson, zero. So, again, why do Knicks fans feel like they deserve to have top-tier free agents when they have one, when they have possibly the worst owner in all of sports, aside from maybe, well, the Marlins don't have, they, they got new ownership now, but I would dare say the Marlins had the worst owner in all of sports. Now it's Dolan with the Knicks. What free agent wants to play for a team that has no interest in, in winning like so so there's that yeah that's how I feel about it I feel like the, the Knicks need to work with what they got build that up start winning again make the playoffs and then maybe then you know try to attract free agents 699 Slayton Giants but that's exactly what they are Chris Fitz that's exactly what they are. Dante Johnson, Steelers autograph. And Chris Fitz, let's be honest, man. All, all, all of sports is really just a good old donkey show. Let, let's not let's not act like it isn't what it is. You know, how, how many black owners are there in any sport? I don't think there are any. So you know, let, let's let's call a spade a spade. It is what it is. Baker Mayfield of the Browns to ninety nine. Al Horford to the Sixers. You know, it makes sense because Embiid is injury prone. 
You know, Embiid has never played an entire season. And I don't think Embiid has played over 60 games in a season. So there's that. So that's why I think the, the you know the the Horford trade makes sense, uh, or move makes sense uh, for the Sixers. Not to mention they they got a good return in Josh Richardson, a nice young player. You know who's definitely going to help them. Nice lockdown defender, uh, a broke man's Jimmy Butler, honestly. But he's younger than him, so he can definitely grow with the Sixers team. It sucks that they lost JJ Redick. That one's going to hurt. And I feel like they definitely overpaid for Tobias Harris. Uh, but I like Horford with the with, with the Sixers. Again, you know, you put Horford at the four and beat at the five when they're healthy. You know, you got a little twin tower situation there. Horford can spread the floor just like Embiid. They can both hit the five. They can both defend their position. And, you know, for big men, they're pretty mobile. So I, I, I like it. I like the move for the, for the Sixers, honestly. Knicks fans don't deserve shit, Steve. Knicks fans don't deserve anything. If Knicks fans were smart, they would stop going to Nick games. They would stop supporting a poor product. Like, it makes no sense. Like, it's, it's really that simple in business. If you stop going to McDonald's, McDonald's is going to be like, well, why, 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 are, why are we losing customers? And they would make a change. If people stop going to Nick's game, stop buying Nick's merchandise... They're going to make a change. But no. People keep thinking, oh, it's Madison Square Garden. It's New York. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. It's not the greatest city in the world. Madison Square is no longer the greatest venue ever. Dude, again, where is this sense of entitlement coming from? Like, New York is no longer a big deal. Like, maybe in the 70s and the 80s, but it's 2019, dude. Oklahoma City has a better franchise than New York, and they're a small market. The Milwaukee Bucks just made the NBA Finals, and they're a small market. Dude, the Miami Heat have been in business for 35 years. We have three championships. The Knicks are one of the original NBA franchises. Why? Tell me, why have they not won a championship in the last 20 years? Because they suck. Ownership sucks. The city, it's not, it's not a big deal anymore. Like free agents and players don't care about playing in big in big market cities. Kawhi Leonard proved it by going into Ramto, uh, by going into Toronto. They just won a championship. You know, Golden State had a had, had a nice little run there, which is over now. But they had a good little run. Golden State came out of nowhere and they beat you know, they, they won some championships. So I, I just I really don't get where this it, it that's really what it is. It's a sense of entitlement. I don't understand where it comes from. The New York Knicks have never been a premier franchise, at least not since the seventies. In the 80s and the 90s, they were competitive, but that's all they were. They were competitive. They were not championship caliber teams. So, again, I don't know where this entitlement is coming from from Knicks fans when they have not been the Mecca for a mighty long time. So, that, that, that's how I feel about that. As far as Kawhi, dude, Kawhi... I'm kind of, I don't know, man. I, I feel like he might really go to the Lakers. Mike, you haven't missed anything. I'll do a recap at the end, brother. Not to mention, you can always rewind the stream if you want to go back and catch anything. So far, I got a Steeler Auto and an Eagle Auto. I'll recap them at the end. We have Brett Ripian, 699 Broncos. Yeah, it's exactly as Mike says, a bunch of Knicks talk. I mean, feel free to chime in, Mike. You know, you, you don't have to be quiet there. You're more than welcome to, you know, speak football or whatever you like, man. No, definitely. I, uh, dude, 100% agreed, man. You know, and, and free agents look at that kind of stuff. Tony Pollard, 
to 49 Broncos autograph. Very nice. The East is, is a little bit more competitive now, but Kawhi Leonard is, 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 is the last chess piece to be played. I think he's going to L.A. I think he's either going to the Clippers or he's going to the Lakers. And just going off his track record, I think he's going to sign with the Clippers. Nicole Hardman Jr. to 24 Chiefs. DK Metcalf to 86 Seahawks. Bulls are, you know, Bulls are kind of like the Knicks right now. They, they got a lot of young players. They got some talent. Just got to coach them up. Give them some time to develop. And you got to be patient, man. You just got to put in that work, man. Marquise Brown to 699 Ravens. But yeah, as long as Dolan is with the Knicks as their uh, owner, no free agent is going to want to go there. Sam Donald, dual relic for the Jets. Yes, we did, Fitz. Apparently, the, the Jimmy Butler trade still hasn't gone through yet. Uh, we're probably going to end up moving Goran Dragic. Well, I think the Goran Dragic trade got, got re uh, reneged. So, uh, and we, he's still on the books, but I don't know, man. Sammy Watkins, 299 Chiefs. Uh, no, it's not, Mike. It's a it's a green and a white one. Jets colors. We have six ninety nine Devin White Bucks. We have Noah Fant, the blue ink for the Broncos. Oh, wow. So, I was just talking about this. And Chris Fitz, Giannis did get exposed. Giannis uh, did not deserve to win MVP. You heard it here first. Giannis overrated. I said it. He got exposed in the, in the playoffs. Giannis needs to... Until Giannis gets a, a jumper, that boy ain't winning a championship. Mahomes of the Chiefs to 299. He definitely got exposed last year's playoffs. Definitely, and the Heat know how to defend them too. I think we had a, we had a winning record against the Bucks last year. Let's see, Clippers acquire Mo Harkless and a future first round pick from the Heat. Sixers get Josh Richardson. Oh boy! So the Jimmy Butler's deal with the Heat could deal complete with the Heat. Clippers added as a fourth team in the trade that includes Sixers and Blazers as well. Huh, interesting there. Got to see what that's about. Nick Bosa here. That'll go to the Niners. Oh, Chris Fitz, definitely. You know, I feel like those two are, are more or less in the same boat. Uh, definitely, I would give the edge to Giannis. Uh, but same deal, man. Until both of those players can get a jumper, they're not going to win a, shit, a chip no time soon. Sam Darnold to 99 Jets. If either player gets a jumper, they're damn near unstoppable. To 299, Saquon Barkley of the Giants. So, Mark Harkless is actually not going to the Heat. But Myers Leonard is, for now anyway. Odell Beckham Jr., 99 Browns. Uh, well, these if you're asking about these cards, I mean, this card goes to Nick Bosa and his team. So, this is Niners, and this is Kyler Murray. 
So this goes to Cardinals. Edelman of the Patriots to 49. Oh, that's right. It's how Seth Curry going to the Mavericks. I thought Goran Dragic was going to end up with the Mavericks. Uh, but apparently that trade didn't go through. Man, moves being made in the NBA. I'm just I'm happy that the that the Heat are making moves, man. I'm glad we got Jimmy Buckets. Jimmy Buckets is gonna love playing with the Heat. It's a perfect fit. He'll never replace Dwayne Wade and his legacy. Nobody probably ever will, to be honest, but there's no drop-off, really. I mean, the Heat got better, for sure. We got we got rid of Whiteside and his bitch ass. Crybaby ass. I think he'll be a good fit in Portland out there. They got a bunch of weirdos out there in Portland. So, good riddance. Bam Adebayo's going to get more minutes, probably be a starter. I, li I like the Heat starting lineup, potentially. Just as Winslow starting at the point. Maybe put Dion Waiters at the two. Jimmy Buckets at the three. Uh, Kelly O at the four. You know, to help stretch the floor and stuff. And he's a pretty good rebounder. And put Adebayo at the five. Adebayo can defend all five positions. Um, that's that's going to be a good team, man. That's going to be a nice, fun team to watch. Tyler Hero probably going to get minutes as a rookie, big time minutes too. You know, where if Goran Dragic does end up getting traded, we're going to need to replace, you know, him, you know, another ball handler. Uh, I got a bold prediction. I predict the Nets will not make the playoffs. Yeah, sure, they got Kyrie, but they, I think D'Angelo Russell, uh, D'Angelo Russell is going to go to the Warriors, I think I heard, or I read somewhere. So you're basically, you know, switching Kyrie for D'Angelo. D'Angelo's a much better leader than Kyrie and has a higher ceiling than Kyrie right now. I think Kyrie has basically maxed out his potential. He is who he's going to be. He's only going to get worse, you know, as time goes on. And y'all know how I feel about Kyrie. That That's going to be a disaster until KD comes back. What's up, Keith? You know, as usual, I don't understand what you're talking about. But either way, what up? McCole Harmon Jr. to 75 Chiefs autographs. Yes, Kyrie is definitely a cancer. What's up, JMS? Lakers are now 3-1 favorites to win the championship. If they sign Kawhi Leonard, yes. But uh, as of right now, uh, I still like uh, you know, I like the Blazers better. You know, they got a, a, a nice deeper team than the Lakers. Aside from, the, aside from LeBron and, and Anthony Davis and Kyle Kuzma, who do they have? And that's not going to be, you know, that's not going to be enough to win a championship, especially in the West. J.J. Watt, 299 Texans. And who is that, Keith? Yeah, I read that. I read that uh, Golden State is going to retire the number 35, which I think is kind of funny. Dante Johnson, 699 Steelers. Yeah, I would definitely bet against the Lakers winning a championship this year. I don't think that's going to happen. Calvin Ridley to 18 for the Falcons. 
That's what I'm saying, Billy. Like they're they're signing all you know they sign LeBron and AD to all this stupid money. You know how are they gonna fill out the rest of their roster? Are they just gonna pick up guys you know from the G League and off Venice Beach to you know to play for them? Like I, I just I don't get it. They're now Savage Junior, six ninety nine Packers. The Heat are a hundred to one. Really interesting very interesting if the heat can stay healthy i think we can be a top four team in the east no offense 699 broncos i still don't think we have what it takes to win a championship i still think we're missing a piece or two but we'll see you know we'll see who improved this year who got better who got worse you know hopefully bam abayo has been working on a, a nice little jumper David Montgomery to their name Bears. You know, last year we were plagued with injuries. Otherwise, we maybe could have squeaked into the playoffs. Hakeem Butler, Cardinals on the ground. Exactly, Billy. Very true. And that's why the Raptors won. Raptors were a very deep team. You know, they had one one superstar in Kawhi Leonard. And then, you know, basically role players after that. And Spicy P was really the reason why they won that championship. The the way he uh, came up was really unexpected. And Keel Harry to 99 for the Patriots. So that was a welcome surprise for the Raptors, having Siakam improve as much as he did. If he didn't, I don't think they would have won a championship. 299 top girly rams. Uh, Keith, talk bad about any of my teams again, and you're going to get banned. All right. Kirk Cousins, Vikings patch. To 75, Brett Favre, Packers. Okay, Keith, you have no idea what you're talking about, so just stop. Michael Thomas, 299 Saints. Yep, you're kind of late on that one, Jameis. But yeah, I heard about that. That that kind that sucks, man. Sam Darnold, two ninety nine Jets. Gary Jennings Jr. I've been watching football highlights lately. I'm ready for some football. I don't know about y'all. You know, all this basketball talk is cool and all, but I want to see somebody get blown up. I want to see crackbacks. Ooh, what if Kawhi? Well, no, we can't afford him. But what if, what if Kawhi is like, yo, I'm going to Miami. <laughs> that would be awesome. I think Kawhi goes Clippers, though. That's my prediction. Uh, I think he goes Clippers. Head-to-head -head against LeBron. Ooh. That would be awesome.
You know, JMS, the NBA is not like is not like any other sport. That's what makes the NBA interesting. What you just stated. It's a, it's amazing for the sport. It may not be good for, you know, local businesses or, or whatever in small markets and, and stuff like that, but the NBA does not have a continuity problem. It Far from it. If anything, it makes the NBA more exciting because you, you don't know what's going to happen from year to year. Whereas in football, the Patriots win all the damn time. I'm tired of that shit. I'm sure if you looked it up, I would I would probably guess that the NBA has stronger numbers as far as viewership compared to the NFL. And yes, granted, the NBA season's longer than the NFL and there's, you know, more games and blah blah blah. But, you know, I don't know. I, I disagree with you, though, JMS. That's what makes me, a, you know, that's what I love about the NBA is, oh, man, who, who's going to move this year? You know, who's going to make a move? Who's going to come up? Who's going to get worse? Who's going to get better? Whereas in football, it's kind of just the same thing every year. So, Cam Newton, 299 Panthers. JMS, you can't blame, you know, the Jets, the Dolphins, or the Bills. Well, granted, they, you know, they should definitely improve. But there's other teams in the East. You know, Chargers need to get better. Steelers need to get better. Ravens need to get better. Like, come on. Speaking of the Patriots, Drew Bledsoe, 299, Patriots. Oh, for for once today you are right, JMS. But you know, but I ask you, you know, what about the Browns? You know, what about the other AFC teams? They get a pass. What about the teams in the NFC that face the Patriots in the in the in the Super Bowl every year and come up short every year? What about them? So it's it's not just the AFC East that's the problem; it's the entire NFL. So, your argument's kind of uh, kind of weak there, JMS. Baker Mayfield, 299 Browns. JJ Watt, 299 Texans. Yeah, Tom, Tom Brady is just too good, man. He is really just too damn good. Andrew Luck to 75 Colts. It's all right, though. Father Time will have his day. And the day will eventually come where Tom Brady will no longer be as good as he is. I don't know when that day is going to come, but I, <laughs> I sure hope it's soon. Jonah Williams, 699 Bengals. Oh, Andy Reid is a perennial loser. I mean, in the playoffs anyway. He always chokes, can't, can't win the big games ever since back to his Philly days. That's, uh, for some reason, he's great during the regular season, but in the playoffs, <gasps> just forgets everything he knows about football. Mahomes, 299 Chiefs. Got DK Metcalf to 30 Seahawks. Uh, Michael, we always uh, more or less start at 5 o'clock. Like, we usually start around 5.05, 5.10. You know, I, I like to, you know, give people a few minutes to come in and watch. But, yeah, around 5.05, around 5.10 Eastern Time is usually when the breaks start, my man. 
Uh, DK Metcalf to 30 here, Seahawks. I think Seahawks are going to surprise some people this upcoming season. Aaron Donald, 299 Rams. I completely forgot the Seahawks, uh, I mean the uh, Rams made the Super Bowl last year. That Super Bowl was probably one of the worst I've seen in a, in a minute. Well, maybe not as bad as that Colts Bears one a few years ago, but still pretty bad. To six ninety nine, Jay Sternberger Packers. Yeah, Michael, we always have the break date, time, and schedule in the description of our eBay listings. So if you ever wonder, like, oh, when is this break taking place? Just read the description. Oh, man, I hope Rosen can take that job from uh, Fitzpatrick. Otherwise, that kid's probably a bust. Bobby Wagner, 299 Seahawks. Uh, well, this is the only break for today, JMS. Uh, like I said, the eBay schedule is always in the description. Uh, but this is it for eBay breaks today. Uh, what we do have up for bids right now is Elite number three. That will be broken tomorrow. And Kill Harry, 699 Patriots. Michael seems to think Rosen is a stud. I, I, dude, I hope so, man. The, the Dolphins didn't really lose anything in trading for him. But I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a red flag when Fitzpatrick is outplaying him. George Kittle, 24 Niners. Bears, I think, are going to be a really good team this year. And this kid's a reason why. Riley Ridley giving Trubisky a weapon out there. Nice pen pal on card auto for the Bears. Got Josh Allen to 299 Bills. And that is going to do it for the break. All right, so for our recap, we had a couple of these cards, these elite companies. Now, this one is going to go to the Cardinals and Kyler Murray. And this one's going to go to Nick Bosa in the Niners. Just right on the sleeve so my sorter knows where to put that. And now our recap. So, we got this pretty cool card for the Browns, numbered 1 of 10, eBay 101. If you're into that, Miles Garrett of the Browns. And our autographs, which I know is what you're really into. We got Riley Ridley Bears, DK Metcalf to 30 Seahawks. Hakeem Butler, Cardinals. McCole Hardman Jr. to 75 Chiefs. Noah Fant, the Blue Wing Pen Pal Auto for the Broncos. No, Tony Pollard to 49 Cowboys. Deontay Johnson, Steelers. And Miles Sanders to 75 Eagles. And that is going to do it for the break. Thank you, eBay.